morning everybody this is the view out of my office this morning we're in Hearst Ontario we're gonna head down the road a little bit to Kappas Casing Ontario I'm gonna go to the Flying J I'm gonna grab some fuel I'm gonna park I'm gonna go inside I'm gonna have a shower I'm gonna be nice and clean I'm gonna feel good then we're gonna make a coffee then we're gonna hit the road and we're gonna head on down to the Colburn Ontario area and find a place to park there tonight in southern Ontario if you're wondering, my lip is a little swollen today. No, I didn't get punched in the face. No, not today. I bit my lip last yesterday, yesterday morning. And I've been playing with it all evening yesterday, and then I woke up and it was, you get it. I did not get punched in the face. Don't worry. That only happened once. <laughs> you should have seen the other guy, though. Anyways, we're going to go to Cabin's Gazing and have our shower. Uh, my reload that was scheduled for tomorrow got canceled. I told you that yesterday. Uh, but the good news is it got rescheduled, but it's loading the day after tomorrow So I'm gonna have a reset an unscheduled reset on the road I'm gonna deliver this load tomorrow afternoon. Well, sorry not tomorrow. I'm delivering this load tomorrow I was supposed to reload the day after tomorrow, but now I'm only gonna be reloading the day after the day after tomorrow so uh, That's our that's our good news and bad news I'll be sitting around for a day in southern Ontario. Maybe I'll go find a a theater, theater, and uh, maybe catch a movie. I don't know. So we'll see. I haven't had a day off like this on the road in a long time. Uh, maybe I'll just sit in the truck here and organize stuff and clean stuff. Maybe I'll just sleep. I don't know. The options are endless. Let's get. Oh, excuse me. Let's get on the road. Let's get some miles behind us. We have 600 miles to go today. It's about a thousand kilometers, so it's going to be a full day. We're going to be driving pretty late. We'll see how far we get. I do have to get there by tomorrow afternoon to unload, though. So there's that. Irate. 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 Got to wear my Scottish hat when I when I say that. I still have it. So have one. Of course I do. I'm not giving that away. That was that was an awesome gift. That was from uh, Tracy and Waddy in Scotland. Got to practice my Scottish accent. Uh, one day, one day in the far future, uh, you know. I don't like talking about it, but Diesel's not going to be around forever. He's retired right now at home. Uh, but one day when he's gone and, uh, you know, is we're ready to move on a little bit. I hate talking about it like this, but what I'm trying to say is that the next little dog would get, I think I want to get like a little miniature schnauzer, like a Scottish, like a, and call him Gustav the Great, but he's going to have a Scottish accent. So I got to practice a Scottish accent. <laughs> Let's not think that far in the future though. Diesel's still got like 15, 20 years. He's only what? 12? Turning 12 this 12 this year. No, he's turning 11. Is he turning 12? Oh my goodness. Okay. Stop talking about him. Let's go. Oh, CB on. Easy, easy. Even though no one else up here uses CB, whatever I got mine on. Lights are on, truck is ready to go, all warmed up. Hopefully I'm not stuck. And I'm not, I'm gonna check my trailer. It is attached, nice. Brakes work and brakes release, fantastic. Fantastic, what a good day, what a good day. Well, I've got my coffee down here. Yeah, we're ready to rock. Or if you're French, we're ready to lay rock and lay roll. Load is all chained down and tight. Washer fluid is filled up. Oil is good. Engine's good. Tires are good. Lights are good. I'm good. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, no. Come on, all blue. Come on, all blue. We got another day of trucking. Let's go. This freight ain't gonna deliver itself.
nice little town up here. There's not much up here on Highway 11, but it's a much flatter drive. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Pardon me. A little gassy this morning. It's okay, Old Blue. I took the blame. It was me. I take Highway 11 because I want to be nice to Old Blue. Uh, these reels are pretty heavy behind me. They're not the heaviest load I've hauled, but uh, eh, they're heavy enough. And Highway 17 is 50 kilometers or 30 miles shorter, but there's massive hills that you gotta climb. Lots of hills. And it's hard on the engine having to pull that hard all the time. Highway 11, it's a little bit further around, but it's flat, right? A little easier, uh, makes me feel better anyway. Who's this? Claude Giroux. Oh, hometown of Claude Giroux. Look at that. Plays for uh, Philadelphia Flyers. Every town in Canada has like a little shrine to uh, the NHL hockey players that were born there and grew up there. So every Canadian NHLer <laughs> has their own little signs and stuff in their hometown. Take hockey very serious, very serious. I wish I had more time to watch it, but you know, life goes on, you gotta work. And we don't have the channel. Though I think I can get it through Prime. I think I can get Hockey Night in Canada through Prime or Paramount Plus or something. I saw it there once, I was like, whoa, no way. Saturday nights, Hockey Night in Canada. I gotta confirm that yet though. That used to be a staple in every Canadian household. On CBC, what was it, Channel 6? Hockey Night in Canada with Don Cherry and Ron McLean. Don Cherry is an absolute legend. people live down in southern Ontario where we're headed tonight around the Toronto Ottawa area all, all in that area that's where uh, actually the majority of Canadians live not many can handle the cold and the brutal weather of Manitoba only the toughest of us Jay's just down the road. I'm gonna shower first. I have two shower credits available. It's because how their parking lot is set up, it'd be more of a hassle to go fuel up and then go all the way around and park. I'd rather just quickly park, go shower, and then we'll fuel and then go. It'll just then I just have to do one loop, one loop of their parking lot. You'll see. Too. It's a lot going on. 
a lot more people up here than uh, I think we realize. I figured this guy was going here too. See the pumps are on the left here. You sort of got to do a loop around the yard to get fuel. And then if I want to park after I fuel, I got to come back out here onto this busy road and then loop Have back around in the center. Destination. Flying J fuel stop. So it'll just be easier if I park, go fuel, no park, go shower, then fuel. Okay, so what I do now, the building's right there. I go into my app. Those of you who drive out here know this very well, but those of you who don't drive might not know. The way I reserve a shower is right through their app. From out in the parking lot. Three available, so I say reserve a shower. Reserve a shower. Boom, shower reserved. Now I have 10 minutes to get in there and get into the shower or it resets and they give it away to someone else. Isn't this kind of interesting, eh? My wheel is so dirty, but my lug nut covers are clean-ish, cleaner. Like the only thing, only thing clean on there, the rest is dirty. Maybe that's just my eyes, they're all dirty. It's all dirty, who am I kidding? Lights. Nice. I was wondering where the light switch was there for a second. No, these are magic lights. You just walk in and they turn on. It's for fancy people. This is what we're working with. All right. Okay. That's all you get. We are showered up, fueled up, fed, got our coffee, load is tied down nice and tight. We're Let's go to Southern Ontario, see what they've been up to. Haven't been there in a while. I 
after this pickup. I'm going. I'm going for it. I'm gonna send it. Continue on Ontario 11 East for 113 kilometers. I mean, lots of traffic coming in here. these big guys. That looks fun. I'm going to have an oversized load headed back. That'll be an interesting ride back from Ontario. I'll be uh, just under 12 feet wide. I think 11 foot 8. Okay, so I've decided where we will sleep tonight. I'm going to go to the Petro Pass in Pickering, Ontario. I used to stop there all the time. And if that place is full by the time I get there, there's another one down the road uh, in the next town. Uh, where's the pipeline truck stop? In past Oshawa. In Port Hope, I believe. Yep. So we'll see. And if those two are full, well, we're going to have to pull over somewhere and figure out what's going on. All right, let's go. Hopefully there'll be room for us at the end when we get there. Turn 
right on. Chester Road West, Highway 7. I think I'll be safe here. At least here I know no one's gonna hit me or run into me or anything else. I'm out of the way. There's no signs that say I can't park here. I'm parking. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> so we'll be up in the morning again. We're gonna go deliver these reels tomorrow. And then we're gonna head to London, Ontario, Flying J, where I'm gonna do a reset. I have to wait till the day after. Okay, wait a second. No. Tomorrow I deliver these reels. The next day I was going to pick up my new load, my oversize. That's not happening now. It's happening the day after tomorrow. So the day after, the day after tomorrow still. But it's after midnight already. So technically now it's the day after tomorrow. Either way, I'm going to be sitting uh, in London, Ontario for a day. Just hanging out. Uh grab a shower wander around a bit maybe go for a walk watch some netflix uh, watch a lot of youtube we'll see what happens i'll uh, worry about tomorrow when tomorrow gets here we'll worry about the day after tomorrow when the day after tomorrow gets here right now i'm going to worry about going to bed thanks for joining me today please hit that like button if you do like my videos i appreciate that i have a lot of videos i have them all in playlists on my channel you can go check them out if you like all the way back to uh, 2011 we started uh, counting and doing our seasons, I think in season, we're in season 10 now, which is the 10th year of daily vlogs since I started counting, but I did start doing daily videos somewhat in 2011. So we've been doing this a little while. This is our 12th year. No. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna have to, uh, 
I'm gonna have to go and uh, check that out. Uh, that was a bit of an inside joke. Wow. I'll have to explain it in another vlog. It's not my joke, it's Britt's joke. Most of my jokes are her jokes, just so you know. I steal a lot of her funny content because she's a lot funnier than I am. And so she, <laughs> she's always cracking jokes and then I take them and say them on the vlog. So disclaimer, a lot of my humor comes from my wife. <laughs> So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell. Uh, turn on all the notifications so you don't miss when my next vlog comes out. And we'll see you tomorrow.